What is up guys? So you're wanting to learn how to double and how to halve. What are you waiting for? Let's begin. Okay, so I want to introduce you to two of my friends. We have Mr. Lion and we have Mrs. Owl. But we have a little bit of a problem. We have these four cookies. One, two, three, four. And I want to try and share them evenly between Mr. Lion and Mrs. Owl. So I have two choices. I could either halve or double. And let's see what I mean by that. So I can halve. And halving really means sharing evenly between two groups. Unfortunately, I have one, two groups here. Okay, so I'm going to share my cookies evenly between my two groups. Are we ready? This cookie is going to go to Mr. Lion. But this cookie is going to go to Mrs. Owl. This cookie will go to Mr. Lion, and this cookie will go to Mrs. Owl. That means that they each have two cookies each. So we have halved the amount that we had. So how could we write that as a number sentence? Well, we started with four, and then we divided, we shared, because remember, division is just a fancy way for saying shared. We shared them between two. And then how many were we left with each? Well, we can see we have one, two, and on this side, let's check we've got the same, one, two. So four divided by two equals two. And that's how we would write that number sentence. So what we can see here is halving is just the same as saying divide by two. So let's try and remember that because that's gonna be really important later. Okay, let's say we wanted to double our cookies. So what does double mean? Well, doubling means that for every one cookie we have, we're going to now get another cookie. So what I mean is, this cookie is going to make a new cookie. This cookie will have a new cookie. This cookie will have a new cookie. And finally, our last one will also have a new cookie. So we have a total of now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight cookies. And what does this look like as a number sentence? Well, we started, if you remember, with four. And this time, what we did is we times it by two. Very different to our halving, where we divided it by two. This one is we times by two. And how many did we get? Let's just check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight cookies. So, so doubling is the same as saying multiply by two or times two. Again, let's try and remember that. Okay, let's have a look at it in a different way. I've got this one pizza here and I want to halve it. So to halve it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my pizza cutter and I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. And now this half is gonna to come to the greedy lion and this half is gonna to come to my greedy owl. So it's not just multiple items that I can cut in half, I can actually cut one in half as well. So I had one pizza, and now I have half for my lion and half for my owl. Let's see how I can double this pizza. Well, if I want to double it, I'm gonna end up getting, that's right, a brand new pizza. So now I've got two. Okay, let's have a look at some number sentences then. So I'm gonna say that I've got six, and I'm gonna show six as six hearts. But now I want to halve my hearts. I want to halve the number six. So remember, halving is the same as saying divide by or shared by two. So six divided by two equals, well, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna get my hearts and I'm gonna split them into two groups, just like that. And then all I've got to do is count how many is in one of the groups, and I can see I've got one, two, three. So six divided by two equals three. Okay, I'm gonna keep the number three for a moment and I'm gonna get my three hearts back. And this time I'm gonna try and double my number three. So I'm gonna write three and then if you remember to double, I'm gonna times by two. So remember to double, I need to make sure I have one extra for all of these. So here we go, boom. I had three and now I have six. So I can say three times two equals one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Excellent. 
There we go. But hold up, can you see something here? I can see that in my division question, I have six divided by two equals three. And in my multiplication question, I have the same numbers. I have a three, a two, and a six. But they're the opposite way around. On my division question, I start with the six, and on my multiplication, I end with the six, or the largest number in the number sentence. And that's because my multiplication and my division are opposites. A little bit like thinking about tying and untying your shoelace. One undoes the other. So if I tie my shoelace, but then I untie it, I'm back to where I started. And it's the same with multiplication and division. Six divided by two is three, but then three times two is six. Halving a number is gonna divide it by two, and doubling is gonna multiply it by two. So I'm back to where I started. Let's have a look at things to remember then. Halving is sharing evenly between two. Doubling is multiplying by two, and they are the opposite of each other. Okay, so here are three questions. I've got a green chili, an orange chili, and a much harder red chili. I want you to try and answer these, put your answers into the comment section, and I'm gonna try and mark them all. And there we go. Hopefully this has been useful, because this has been all you need to know about halving and doubling. I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.